Hi, I'm Will Meyer. Today we're going to go over how to grease your suspension linkages on your Sherco slash Scorpo. If your linkages sound like two squirrels banging on a tin roof, this video will help that. Tools you'll need for the job. Two 13 millimeters uh, for the two upper dog bone uh, bolts. 17 millimeter, an 8 millimeter wrench, and extra heavy duty grease, or just any grease, but I like duty, heavy duty. So, I use heavy duty grease. The first bolt you're going to want to take out is one right on the swing arm here. It's the uppermost uh, linkage bolt. Don't want to get that loose and take that out. with your 17 and your 8. So once you got your uh, this first bolt out, you are able to get the swing arm up like this and out of the way, which makes for a much easier area to work. And I have a bungee cord here. I just wrap around a copious amount of times to get the swing arm up, keep it out of the way. Next thing you're going to want to do is just loosen this one. It's important to get that one loose before you take these two 13s out because to get it loose when these are out, it's going to twist the shock and that is not good to get everything lined back up. So once this is loose, we're going to take our two 13s and get these two bolts out. So what you're only going to do next is take your two 13s, get the breather hoses out of the way, like so. Take your two 13s, uh, you're going to want two box ends on this because these bolts are usually really tight and they're super skinny. Now I have a trusty gear wrench that has always worked really well for this job. And so once you get that off, like so. So once this is out, you can just rotate, rotate this back down. Make sure this bushing does not fall out. You do not want to lose that, obviously. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I've already have, I just got this nut off. I'm going to put it in a safe spot over here. Just going to take the bolt out. Let's take this out. Once this is out, that's good because if you try to take this bolt out while these two uh, forward 13s are still in, you're going to find that this is going to hit the frame and the foot peg bolt nut. So by taking out these 13s, it allows you to move everything backwards. And so you can unthread this uh, big one, take it out move take everything out just like that and there just like that your linkages are all apart yeah. so now that we have our dog bones out and um, we got all of our bolts right here now if you're on a used bike you're going to find that this is really dirty under here so just clean all these bolts clean these dog bones to the best of your ability um, i usually use wd-40 and a paper towel works really well or um you know, if I know I'm going to do, if I know I'm going to grease these linkages when I'm pressure washing the bike, I'll spray up here as much as I can to just get as much out with the hose. You know, so right now I'm going to put on some rubber gloves, just like this. Put on these gloves, protect from our heavy duty grease that we have here. Take a little bit of plastic out because I broke the cap to the grease. This is the cap to this grease. So once you take this out, you got your two bushings here. So what you're going to want to do is just get a copious amount of grease. And just uh, 
put it in there and kind of twist it in as you're working with it just like that when you get access you know when you get access grease you know that's the most it can ever hold so i usually just just rub that with my take that out just put it in the next hole and then i take this the uh, small bushing get a good bit of grease on this one this one's hard to get grease into so you know you just kind of got to do your best so i kind of do this and then i take my thumb just kind of run it around and then i like to keep some on the access of this on the outside of this one just like that just to keep it real nice and lubed up and help seal out dirt and stuff so once that's done it's important to put these on the right side so if you think about it when you take your bush when the when the dog bones are apart the bushings are facing these bushings are facing inwards so you want to keep it like that so when you grease this one you want to put this part in on this side next part you're going to want to do is just swing on bushing up here gets forgotten there they are needle bearings in there so uh gonna want to get as much grease in there as you possibly can just take your nice lubed up finger here and just kind of just like that you take your bushing put a little bit of access grease into it and then just kind of put it back in there and you'll get a grease wiener on the other side so i just kind of take the grease wiener rub it around there help seal things up rub a little bit of grease on there and then now your swing arm is all greased up all right so what you're going to want to do is um get these get this long one in first so you want to take this one of the washers off you want to get your dog bone bushing the dog bone make sure this part is facing in towards towards the inside so i get that like that these washers as you can see are kind of bent make sure they're bent outwards like this so there's a little bit of gap there gonna want this to just go in smooth like that then you're gonna want to put this on the other side this and then thread your nut on but you don't want to tighten it all the way just take your nut and just like that so next are the 13s just going to want to rotate these dog bones up and try to squeeze your hand in here it's a really tight space I guess the Spaniards don't think Americans have big hands because it's really hard to get these bolts up in here. So once that's up and in, you want to put on the washer and then thread on the 13, which I'm kind of doing. Don't really know. Yes. Right, chest. I just like to now this is probably going to be the hardest part of doing your linkages especially if you've just rebuilt them or it's a new bike it's lining everything up to get this top bolt in so I just like to drop it down try to push this forward a little bit and then just kind of got to slam it down in there to get things lined up and if you're lucky you get it first try but this can take a lot of wood I just like to get the asshole wiggle just trying to rotate it get it lined up take your take your eight now gotta try to almost there
It looks lined up, but it's not going here. So I finally got that in after a good bit of finagling, 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 however you say it. If I can get this threaded, that would be great, but I can't. Alright, All right, that's threaded on. So we got everything tightened up but this last one here. Once this is tight, we'll be good to let's clean off anything on the dog bones themselves. Because that'll just attract grime and grit and dirt. And then we will be good. That is tight. Shouldn't be any play in the linkage, which there isn't. Uh, if there is, you might just need to put new bushings in. They're pretty cheap. You can just press them into the dog bones themselves. Um, make sure everything's tight. This bottom shock bolt. Get a little bit out of it. <clears throat> Not much more. Then just tidy everything up and get your wheel wheel on and your linkage on your Sherco Scorpa is greased. After you pump up your rear brake. It's just good to ride. Just like that. Pro filmer Eric McCurdy on the bike! Yeah boy! Woo!